Hello everybody, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Um, before I start this video, I want to give a shout out to all the veterans uh, out there. I want to wish them a happy Veterans Day, even though it was yesterday. Um, and that's include my family who serve in the military. Um, that people that fought and died, you know, for, for our freedom. I would like to thank you for your service. So happy, veter happy Veterans Day if you guys are vets. Now, with that being said, this video has disturbed me. I want to give a shout out to Jessica Fontenot on Facebook. She's the one that was recording this. This guy, Seth Broussard. Now, this is the guy that's going to call her a stupid fucking nigger. That's exactly what, you know, he calls her. And again, one thing about it is Jessica Fontenot, you have my respect She's very, she's a young lady, young, beautiful sister that stood her ground and and that stands up for what's right. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. I said you were talking crazy, uh -huh. you stupid fucking nigger. nigger. Okay. Did you get it that time? I did. I said nigger. Okay. Cool. This nigger right here. Wow, y'all. Never call this man out his name. Never call this man out his name or anything. Never call him out his name or anything. Wow. I got his license plate. I got his truck. Showed you, and you know what? I'm not gonna let this man mess up my Sunday. He's not gonna get to me. But it just shows you that we're still living in this time period, y'all. Like we still going through racism. Shit's crazy. Old ass man talking to a young black female like that. Sad. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Again, Jessica Fontenot, you have my respect. You know, you notice that every time, now, you notice that he he stopped the brakes so she can hit him and so he can, can go out and try to do something to her. I'm going to tell you like this, ladies and gentlemen. I think black women, I think really, I mean, we're in the troubled times that, you know, and like Malcolm X always says that, the the um the most disrespectful woman in the world is the black woman. The most less safe woman in the world is the black woman. And we feel that today. Now, you know, Seth Broussard had the balls to do that to a black woman. You notice that he's not gonna do that to a black man. Real talk. Because black men would do something to him that he would not expect. Now, you know, and remember, Jessica uh, Fontenot, you know, she didn't really do anything wrong. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, what did she do to provoke him from to, from doing this? What did she say? You know, you have, know how these racist, racist people are. What did she say to provoke this man for calling her that or calling her out of her name or calling her the N-word? You know, what did she do? She didn't do anything. It was him. But... You know, you notice that Facebook, and again, I, I, when I saw the video, and shout out to Sadiq Ahito on his fa on his YouTube channel, he was a he was a he was a person that even talked about this story. So when I went to her Facebook page, I give her nothing but love, nothing but respect, because a sister it was by herself and unprotected. 
But like Malcolm X said, the most unprotected woman in the world was a black woman. The most disrespected woman in the world is a black woman. You know, it's saddened that in 2019, this situation always happens. But this is why I said that we as black men need to protect our black women, for real. Obviously, the, uh, I mean, I mean, if you, if you if you don't know who Jessica Fontaine is, you know, go to her Facebook, um, Jessica Fontenot. That's she, she pronounced her name Fontenot. Go to her Facebook page and give her some love. Now, it's, it's now with that being said, with this guy that called her the stupid fucking nigger, um, Seth Broussard. That's his name, Seth Broussard. Now, the company that he used to work at is aware of what he did. And the CEO of that company um, was was saying that he hasn't worked there in a month, which means they're already aware. They're, I mean, basically he been, he, I mean, he hasn't been working in a month or he hasn't been employed in a month. With that being said, he felt, you know, he felt sad of the this, of this sister Jessica Fontenot um, of this incident. And I, and I guess he's already been fired. But the thing of it is, is that you see people out there. And I think black people, we need to be very careful that, you know, you got, pe you got ignorant people like that out there because they, they are out there. And you got to be very careful. So shout outs to Jessica Fontenot. You, you handled the situation with class. Other people wouldn't feel that way, but you know, you, you did it, you handled it with class because anything could have happened to her, this, 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 young, this beautiful young sister. Anything could happen to her. She, she could have, the guy could have had a weapon. The guy could have wa waved his weapon around. Anything could have happened to the sister. And this incident happened in, in, in Texas, by the way. So Jessica Fontenot, you have my respect. Um, um, you know, I thank you for handling it with class because, again, most people wouldn't go that route. Most people would have would do something else to this guy. But, again, this is America, as they say. Um, so that's all I have to say for today. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this story. Like, click, subscribe. And remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.